Welcome back to Let's Play SpongeBob's Truth of Square for the DS. We're getting to the end of things. We're almost there. Not a lot left to do. And then after that, more Central Games at some point, somewhere else. Recall. I don't quite remember what this one was, actually. Did anybody talk about what this was? I think it was something that sounded relatively new. Uh, no, we'll find out. Actually, we probably won't because they're not going to tell us. But, unfortunately, I don't quite recall what we were told it was going to be last time. So let's find out. Through a surprise. Krusty Krab. Yeah, I was signing with the Krusty Krab. I don't think it was when Sandra got first got his job there or anything. Of course, we're going to have to... Oh, wow, we're actually starting the Krusty Krab. What's going on here? But we're not going to be spitting, like, an entire level in the... Like, just in the front of the Krusty Krab. That'd be kind of ridiculous, wouldn't it? Nope, that's actually what we're doing. Okay, cool. Uh, sure, I guess. And this is Spongebob's memory in his mind. We can just do whatever we want in that regard, I guess. Whoops, I forgot I cannot stand on that. Sure. So this Krusty Krab's just a little bit wider than I remember it being. But why was there a puff thing over there anyways? So we I need to bring a friend over to the left, it seems like. I'm not quite sure where that's going to happen. Where is the friend he found? That's a very good question, actually. Oh. There's a friend. Very low resolution. It's just a couple of pixels. Hi, Patrick. Okay. And I don't have to care, care about Patrick being hurt for some reason. Can I just pick that Patrick up again? To, uh, well, get across here the hag to worry about getting hurt again. Awesome. Take my pain for me, Patrick. Yeah! Awesome. Now we can actually just use them as long as we want, too. And by that I mean until our time runs out, which is precisely not as long as we want. But we can just use them to attack some enemies for the time being. Interesting way of climbing a ladder, Patrick. Oh, so, good news. I almost forgot about this. So, I finally managed to remember what that... Okay. I don't know if I really have a reason to want to break that puff thing, but sure. Nor Patrick. Patrick's gone. He drowned. But, I finally managed to remember what that one episode was that I was trying to remember that seemed to me like a good idea for a level. And it was actually a Crusty Crab Pizza episode. Pizza delivery. What's the point of having this thing here? What is the point of having that there, actually? Because now I can just use it as a platform. Like, I don't know why I'd want to do that. Okay. <laughs> but it seems like a pretty good episode to have for a game like this one, doesn't it? Specifically this game in particular, actually. Because you have the journey. That being going through the desert or the plains or whatever. Which, of course, you'd add stuff to, but that's fine. Just with SpongeBob and... Can I clamp this? No. The SpongeBob and Squidward. Probably with Squidward being playable in some capacity. And then later on. Oh, uh, yeah, I am going to want to use SpongeBob for these. Just for those. No way, dude. And that doesn't actually open. Awesome. What is that behind there? I don't remember that being the Krusty Krab. Hi. And then, of course, you have driving the rock all the way to the guy's house. Once we actually find the boulder. And that would, of course, make its own nice little minigame, wouldn't it? So, I imagine I'm going to want to bring the goo over there to get rid of those lasers again. Did the game ever tell you, actually, that you could get rid of lasers by spitting water at them? Because that doesn't make sense to me at all. That, that would just trip them, like normal. Like anything else, like SpongeBob running through it would, for example. Okay. But, for some reason, it just kind of works. Go ahead. Don't know why. Oh, I was about to say, I don't know why you're getting hit instead of me. That didn't quite work out. Go ahead. Good job. You did it. Yeah, though, so that was my grand idea that I spent a long time trying to think of. Hi, stuff on the right. That's a nice black Ford. Crystal Crab goes on to infinity. Which reminds me of a white void. I still wish I was an SP129 acknowledging some capacity in some SpongeBob game, but I don't remember that ever happening. 
Oh, I know why this thing is here, though. Why is that? What is this? Oh, here they're being like a big... This and the... Cr okay. Now I just come up with stuff on her own. Which, I mean, it looks interesting. I'll give you that. But, like, this is the sort of thing I think would be better if you weren't trying to say that everything was based off of the actual episodes. Because this would be very interesting on, as its own sort of thing. In fact, this would make a lot of sense to creature from the Crusty Crab for a variety of reasons. This the Crusty Crab was quite weird. It really took a different tone than the actual show. But it's still just like kind of interesting in some capacities. Aside from reusing a bunch of assets, which I still find myself missed by. That was interesting. Look at that. But now we're just kind of inexplicably running throughout various floating things. Hey, usually jump attacks are one hit kills. Go away. I said. Okay, that's multiple jump attacks. Go away. That wasn't a jump attack at all. Dude! But now we're on patty platforms and whatnot without any real explanation. I still wish I remembered what the game actually told me this episode was supposed to be beforehand, but thinking back on things, I shouldn't need to have the game tell me which episode it was to actually know just what it's supposed to be a reference to. Unless this one actually isn't referring to a specific episode, which would be strange. But you would think that if it's actually supposed to be- thank you camera- if it's actually supposed to be based off of specific things from the show, then a person that's familiar with the show, such as myself, should in fact be able to recognize what each thing is based off of from the show without actually having to specifically be told what each of those are, right? So I'll have to go back there as well. Can't I? Looks like I could. I think I could write that special off to the background there. I want to see if there's anything of note over there. Why are you only just now actually having a level in the Crystal Crab? Why don't we have that for the talent show, too? I feel they just didn't want to actually have a level in the Crystal Crab, and that's why we didn't have one for the talent show. We got replaced by something else entirely, but that's not the case. Yeah. Go up. Go up a little. Oh, little tomato. I do think that one episode that also has a lot of capacity, well, capacity, a lot of potential, is the episode in which SpongeBob goes through everybody's dreams. I do believe the Dream World in Battle for King Bottom was supposed to be referenced to that episode, since you go through joint characters' dreams. But it could definitely be used in multiple games. I don't think it'd be a bad idea to use it, especially one weird floaty things like this, or if you want to have a level in a white void. But if you want to level on white point, I still say SP129 is the way to go. Of course, that was a Squidward episode primarily. Not that you really actually had much stuff going on with SpongeBob in that, but you could still accomplish something in some way. And it'd still be a proper reference to the show. Even if you're toying with things a little bit. Whereas, totally coming up with new things like, for some reason, SpongeBob actually has to go on an entire journey to get to the Krusty Grab the talent show, whereas that was never a thing before. Same thing for the Fragment Olympics. That's a little bit weird because it's just adding something that wasn't actually in the show. With And, and you're adding areas that weren't in the show either. Same thing with Rock Bottom and the uh, Hashing Slasher episode. What do you mean I can't walk around that game? We're waiting. I know, I, I find it hard to really give a particular... I don't know how to respond to this level, because I think it looks cool, I like its idea, I think it works just fine. It's just, it's not something from the show, so I feel like it's not doing what's promised. It's weird. And now we get to stop hearing the music that was actually playing. At least for some amount of time. Let's see how long this actually lasts us. Spin. I wish I could just spin forever so I wouldn't have to spin multiple times to hit these switches. It's a little annoying. Okay, so can float upwards. So has this actually progressed us for the level? No, it doesn't, because there's actually a switch I need to hit somewhere, I'm pretty sure. So I can... That's just... This just gives a picture. Because we found those... Tongs, prongs, prongs, not tongs. This... 
whatever it was, stabby thing, that for some reason mysteriously blocked us from actually moving past. So I need to find a switch to grant us passage. I'm just reminded of Patterson I can't move past, or whatever it was he said. I can't get past, is that what he said? Oh, goodbye. Back in... So we're moving in. Darn it! I'm trying to jump at the chance to... Oh wow, it resets every time you fall. It's interesting. Ah, I shouldn't have done that the way I did. Okay, but can I... Dude, I'm trying to jump! There you go. I made it, but at what cost? I could have actually got some use of buff if I had it for just a little bit longer. Yeah, I could see these things up in the air. I know they're gonna cut down on me somewhere. There we go. But, but... Guys, like, it's not blocking me. I can jump right over. Guys, please! Some thought into your walls. So this game's biggest issues, it feels like to me. It has been seen not to really think about whether its walls make sense. And I'd rather, like, somewhat bad looking, like, less appealing looking, opaque walls that actually make sense for it to not be able to pass. Compared to slightly better looking walls that don't make sense for you not be able to pass. It's always makes me wonder, can I go past this? It looks like I should, but from a gameplay perspective, I probably shouldn't. And it just makes things feel awkward. Anyways, I managed to get a pretty good earth with these guys. Nice. Also, this almost seemed pretty long so far, actually. We're not even halfway through, according to stuff we picked up. The variability in length of the levels in this game is pretty considerable, it seems like. Off we go. I don't like having to wait for this darn spatula, though. Okay. I do wish that the spin attack in midair was more applicable as platforming technique in this game, like it was in the. Hi. Like it was in the console version. Having spin attacks for platform for is kind of nice in general, but in this game it just stops you for too long. And if you want to stay in the air for some reason, that works that way, but... Otherwise, like you're just trying to get further or something like that, it's kind of detrimental. Anyways. Uh, it's kind of weird. How about we do that? Okay. Cool. You're on top of there. No, oh, because invisible walls, again. Game, you and your invisible walls. Also, why are we on like a lettuce conveyor belt? Made of lettuce. Also, these spatulas in the floating in the background have no handles. That's very sad. They're incomplete. Uh-huh. So how about we just get rid of these explosive things immediately? Instead of trying to dance around them. Go away. Stop it. Stop. Stop. You, why do you take so much damage? I really don't get that. You're so small. You look so weak. At least this thing's nice enough to only send out one enemy at a time right now. Sometimes it does send out more than two when you have these sorts of things. These sorts of challenges. Why are you not affected by a conveyor? That's... Stop being subject to different rules of reality than I am. I dislike when enemies are like that. There we go. Beautiful. Okay. And more stuff to pick up. Okay, so we're actually seemingly pretty close to the end of this level now. It's just all of a sudden we're getting lots of collectibles at once. I find it kind of weird. I always like to try to use collectibles that come in a specific number to gauge how far I am in a level. But then we have levels like this one where the, like all of them are weighted towards the beginning or the end, it kind of messes with your perceptions. It's just weird. Like, really, really, really weird. I, I, I sink in a little bit and then I bounce really high. It's really strange, actually. And we can see that off to the background behind me right now, there seems to be... Shoot. Can't double jump. There seems to be another... I, the entrance to uh, the bonus area. What happens if I fall somewhere as Patrick? 
I don't think I'm going to try it out right now because I have to hit the switch. This is probably going to give me, hopefully going to give me one more picture and then I'll be able to actually enter. Yeah, okay, cool. So this will be another one of those things where we enter a bonus level and we'll actually start the little next episode. Golden spatulas! Those aren't spatulas, you jerk. Did we already get the golden spatula in this game? I think we did. You can't see anywhere, like, no, you can't see anywhere in the game itself. You need to be in the hub. Hi. What do you do? You do that. Hopefully I'm not gonna like fall off the platform while all this cutscene's happening. I have a feeling I get frozen in place. Yeah. Okay. Alright though, but in any case, I'll be it for this episode. Let's play some drops through the square. I'll see you guys next time next episode when we inexplicably do whatever teletransportation sorts of in the Crusty Crab thing that I've never really heard of before. Sure. Bye guys.